uses of word 2016 word can be used to type letters stories reports etc in a simple way make changes in the text while typing and after typing also give presentable look to the text using different colors styles and effects insert pictures in a document check the document for spelling and grammatical errors copy and move the text wherever required save the text for future use print a part or whole of the document starting word 2016 to start word 2016 follow these steps step 1 click on the start button on the taskbar step 2 from the start menu scroll down to w and select word step 3 click on blank document and a blank document opens word 2016 window opens with a new document for you to work components of word 2016 window let us learn about the various components of word 2016 window quick access toolbar title bar window control buttons ribbon cursor tabs rulers scroll bar status bar zoom slider title bar it displays the name of the program and the name of the document Word gives a temporary name document 1 to your new document. You can change this name by saving your document with a different name. Tabs. Tabs are located below the title bar and quick access toolbar. There are 9 tabs present in the word: Home, Insert, Design, Layout, Reference, Mailing, Review, View, and Help. Each tab has specific group of related function and commands which are used to complete the tasks. Quick access toolbar. It is present on the left of the title bar. It contains commonly used buttons like save, undo, redo, etc. Ribbon. The ribbon is located below the quick access toolbar. It is made up of tabs and groups. Each tab has a set of commands present as buttons rulers there are two rulers the horizontal ruler appears at the top of the document and the vertical ruler appears on the left scroll bars the vertical scroll bar is located along the right side of the screen and is used to move your document up and down you can click and drag the vertical scroll bar up and down The horizontal scroll bar is located just above the status bar and is used to move left and right across your document. You won't see a horizontal scroll bar if the width of your document fits on your screen. Text slash document area. Just below the ruler is a large area called the text area. You type your text or content in the text area. Cursor. The blinking vertical line in the upper left corner of the text area is the cursor or the insertion point. As you type, your text is displayed at the cursor location. Status bar. It shows the detailed information of the document like page number, number of pages, lines, words, etc. Window control buttons. Window control buttons are present on the right side of the title bar. There are three window control buttons which are used to minimize, maximize or restore and close the window. Zoom slider. Zoom slider is located at the bottom right corner of the window. It is used to enlarge and reduce the size of window quickly and easily. Working with Word 2016. In Word, we create documents by typing text. When the text reaches the end of a line, The cursor automatically moves to next line. While typing text, we use the space bar, enter, delete and backspace keys frequently. Let us learn how to create a new document in Word 2016. Creating a new document. To create a new document, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on file tab and info screen appears. Step 2. Click new option from the left pane. Step 3, click on blank document option from the available templates. 
a blank document will appear on the screen. Now you can type, select, delete, insert the text in it. Typing the text. You can type the text into the document. Keep on typing the text. You will find that the cursor automatically shifts to the next line. Press enter key only to start a new line. Selecting text. To make changes in the existing text, you need to select it. To select the text, place the pointer at the required position and hold down the left button of mouse and drag the mouse over text to be selected. Release the mouse button, the selected text get highlighted. Deleting text. If you have made a mistake while typing the text, you can easily remove the text by using either backspace or delete key. For using backspace key, click to the right of the text and press backspace key. For using delete key, click to the left of the text and press delete key. Inserting text. While writing, you may find it necessary to add some more text to already written document. You can easily insert new text in your document. To insert the text, place the pointer at the required position where you want to insert the text and click. Insertion point cursor appears on the screen to indicate the position where the inserted text will appear. You can now type the new text. Saving a document. When you have finished typing in your document, you need to save it for future use. To save your document in Word, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on File tab. Step 2. Select Save or Save As option from the left pane. Step 3. Select any option from the center pane. Then click on Browse option. The Save As dialog box appears. Step 4. Select Location and give your file a name in the File Name box. Step 5. Click the Save button. Opening a Saved Document. To open a saved document, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on File tab. Step 2. Select Open option from the left pane. Step 3. Find the file to be opened and click the Open button. Printing a document. To print a document, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Select Print option from the left pane. Step 3. Click print button from the center pane. The document will be printed. Exiting Word To close a document or to exit from Word, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Click on the Close option from the left pane. If you have not saved the document, Word displays a message box asking you if you want to save the document. Click on Save button. If you do not want to save the document, click on Don't Save button. 